This Orktober, I wanted to do something special. So I made an orc truck out of actual scrap metal. If you're used to buying your orc vehicles, well, you're missing out on a load of fun. Let's get to it. I'd like to coin a new term here. Method crafting. Just like actors get into their roles for a movie, almost becoming the character, we're going to do something similar. You see, orcs like to build things from scrap metal bits that they find, bolting them together, welding them randomly, and using their sheer willpower to make the machinery work. My main building materials are going to be this ductwork galvanized steel sheeting, as well as various gauges of galvanized and copper wiring. I looked around my stash for metal bits, but I knew I needed something special to really make this build shine. And that's where Mike comes in. Now, you come and say, Mike, give me your bits. But you don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me scratch bashing. W well, what, what do you want for them? Someday, and that day may never come, I will call upon you to do a service for me. But until that day, consider these bits a gift on this October day. All right, not sure I'm really comfortable owing him a favor, but let's move on with the build. These bits are really good. I think these are from an old paper shredder. Sweet. To get a sense of scale, I roughly sketched out this Chimera transport. I have a feeling the truck will be way bigger. To build the scaffolding of our car, we're going to use some 18 gauge steel wire. It comes in these rolls, so to straighten it out, we simply turn it in a power drill by holding it tight with a pair of pliers. Then we can cut it to the correct lengths to fit our template. Next up, getting some masking tape to secure down the pieces for welding. Adding a bit of flux to the connections and off we go. Here I use the little orc boy as reference and to keep me company. I'll be building the sides of the truck next, same as before, but this time taking advantage of bending the metal more to cut down on welds. It becomes a bit harder to get things to line up and stay put once we're in three dimensions. But I make do as best I can. The trick seems to be heating each metal enough to where it forms a good solder bond and then cooling it down while holding the part in place. Make a little steering wheel for our orc driver now too. Don't try this at home, but if you do, watch out for sharp metal corners or you might lose a thumb or two. For the wheels, I struggled to find a good metal bit that fit the look. So I'm gonna be using these tires I scavenged off a kid's toy truck. I figured that actual tires aren't made of metal, so we're still in the realm of method crafting here. Don't worry, we'll jazz them up later with metal bits. Time to lift the truck up so the wheels fit on. Hit that like button if you own a lifted truck. I drive a hatchback myself, so I guess hit the like button if you have a car. Or have ever seen a car outside. Um, or have heard the word car. Here's where we are so far. Humble beginnings, but it's starting to look like a vehicle. At this point, it's time to start layering on some paneling. I'm using one of the bits from Mike here. This took a bit more heating to get it to stick. It's a lot thicker than the wires. Brushing on flux on all the parts I need. This would have been impossible without it. For some of the really stubborn bits, I did turn to using some 5-minute epoxy to keep them together. Here we are adding some Orky suspension springs to the front. Gotta add those little comforts. Using this old electric motor as a fuel tank has the right sort of shape and scale. A lot of these bits I ended up using wires to hold in place, as it was getting too hard to heat up the metal enough to solder here. The giant frame acts as a sort of heat sink now. Let's take a bit of a break from that chunk of metal and work on the driver. I have a box of orc boys from GW here, and I assembled this little guy with two empty arms. I think you're meant to use these arms as braces for the gun he's holding in the other hand. But with a bit more creativity and some plastic glue, we can get him to keep both hands on the wheel. 
to give the tires a bit more reinforcement, we'll be adding some random metal plating parts to them, as if they've been patched and fixed up by the orcs over many battles. We're also going to make this little tiny engine here and mount it on the front. Now it's time to build the front shredder. Using actual shredder blades, these things were quite sharp. <laughs> I rolled a bit of tin to get the correct diameter for the inside of the shredder blade to take hold. And I slotted them all on to make a deadly bit of metal. I experimented with a bunch of different ways to attach this thing to the front of the truck and finally opted to use some galvanized metal strapping. Making box-like shapes from the ductwork steel works really well. Just bend the parts you need and solder the edges. You can drill into it and add handles or attachment wires as needed. I actually didn't add any rivets in this build, but I think it still looks quite realistic. The orc that built this likely lost his rivet gun and opted to use his welding torch more. Here's the gang on the truck for a test drive. Quite roomy. This reminds me. The driver likely needs a seat, so let's add that in real quick. I had ordered some brass rods that just arrived at this point in the build, so I was excited to use them. I made this sort of top bar to support some additional hardware. Brass seems to solder really easily as well. All right, Next I cut up some sharp metal teeth which I instantly regretted and filed down to be less pointy. These are just stuck down with some super glue. I was debating not painting this thing at all and just starting to weather it down. However, all the different metals and sheens don't look quite right, so I opted for a black undercoat and a silver spray prime from above on everything but the wheels. Busting out some Agrax Earthshade to pre-shade and darken some areas of the model, then coming in with some red paint for some of the outside panels. Orcs think red makes things go faster, so that was a natural choice. I cake on some browns to add extra weathering, and highlight some parts back up to silver. Overall, just having a ton of fun painting this beast. This is actually my first time painting 40k orcs, and it was pretty awesome. Getting that green skin tone and layering on some highlights, very satisfying. The orc boys kit even came with a transfer sheet, and I was able to scavenge some decals for the truck. Some checkered patterns, skulls, hazard stripes, you name it. Also, check this out. After adding some sponge on weathering, I took a hobby knife and scraped down the bare metal in some parts. Realistic weathering. The tires got a thick dusting of black tile grout sealed in with PVA glue to give it a rich muddy appearance. It's time to put the boys in the truck. I'm gluing these down with a tiny bit of super glue in case I change my mind later and want to reconfigure the passengers. I want to thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out other Orktober builds by my fellow creators this month. I'll catch you on the next one.